Hi guys, today I want to talk about preparing our PCs for our beloved uh, DCS world. These will be some tips. Uh, I will talk about some tips, some hardware and software issues. Now at first I want to talk about some hardware issues. That's why now on the screen you are seeing the hardware info program. Uh, for the DCS world, at first if you have some budget, you should have some 32 gigabytes of RAM and uh, these must be some speedy RAMs I suggest you to buy uh, 6000 uh, 3600 megahertz uh, DDR4 RAMs uh, this is very important for DCS for 32 gigabytes of RAM uh, 16 uh, multiplied by 2 2 DIMMs or 8 might multiplied by 4 or 4 dims uh, is necessary to play uh, the DCS world in, go in good manner because you will need far less uh, hard drive or SSD uh, space with this type of RAM and you should uh, have some fast SSDs uh, preferably NVMe SSDs you should have NVMe SSDs and I suggest you to install the game uh, on a uh, different SSD uh, rather than the system uh, SSD as you see on the screen uh, an SSD is dedicated for the DCS world uh, by doing that uh, you easily clean uh, refresh your uh, systems uh, DCS world files and uh, it's it will be much more optimized uh, for the game next very important item is the DCS updater utility this is a utility uh, which launches updates repairs cleans the DCS world you can control beta update or standard update you can control saved items folder installation folder you can install different DCS words to your system dif different installs uh, this utility is very very good utility you can manage your uh, mods you can manage your maps etc this is a must I think for a good system you can repair your system you can clean up your system uh, by the time and it's very easy to update the DCS uh, with this utility. Install, configure and use it, you will not regret. The next thing is to disable uh, the USB hot plugin from the DCS world settings, controls and as you can see below there is option uh, for USB hot plugin you should disable it because system scans the U USB ports and it may cause stutters on some systems. You should observe your system's performance parameters to see what's going on on your system. By doing this, uh, for doing this, you should install MSI Afterburner with reverse statistics. Uh, this program shows you the key performance parameters, FPS, frame rate, frame time, uh, CPU usage, memory usage, you know. Uh, you should install this and you should uh, then you can see your system's parameters and you can see what's going on at your system. You can select the parameters to observe. Now on the screen you can see the uh, reverse, reverse statistics settings screens and MSI afterburner settings screens. Uh, watch this video and there are some very detailed YouTube videos to configure uh, for monitoring the parameters. Uh, this is the monitoring tool every DCS player must have uh, installed at their systems. Uh, when you enjoy your uh, DCS gameplay, uh, FPS is not uh, the only parameter uh, you should seek for. For example, uh, screen tearing effect is very important. Because of that, uh, you should uh, enable FreeSync uh, at your uh, driver and at your monitor uh, monitors menu uh, freezing uh, means uh, it uh, syncs your 
monitors and uh, video cards, uh, graphic cards output and uh, it eliminates tearing effect. Uh, it's uh, available in uh, NVIDIA too. It's called G-Sync. Uh, you should enable your G-Sync uh, as you see on the screen and on your monitor to uh, play without tearing effects. What you see on the screen is NVIDIA control panel menu. I suggest you uh, to enable for full screen mode, not like uh, this, and enable settings for the select display model. Uh, this setting is the hardware accelerated uh, GPU scheduling. It reduces latency and improves performance, uh, especially on the low end systems, but uh, some systems uh, may show some stutters uh, after enabling this feature. Uh, because of that, uh, enable it, test it, and if you see some problems, you can disable it. But uh, I see some very low-end systems and low-end systems benefit from this feature. Uh, you should always enable automatic driver update or driver a new driver update information setting at your uh, driver settings. Uh, generally, uh, the latest version of drivers are the problem-free drivers for your convenience. While we talked about the drivers, uh, I suggest you to use uh, DDU un uninstaller when you have a problem with some set of drivers or you, when you change your card, use DDU uninstaller to remove the old drivers from your system. Uh, I think this is a very important and very uh, necessary uh, program to update your uh, drivers and uh, when you change your card, you should almost always use this uh, program to uh, remove the uh, old drivers from your system and registry. Uh, it's a free and very easy to use program. Download and install it basically. I prepared a video about resizable bar smart access uh, memory uh, feature before. You should uh, enable it from the BIOS as you see on the screen. Uh, above 4G decoding and resize bar support features uh, must be enabled uh, at the BIOS for it to use. Uh, uh, this is the way to uh, enable it. As you can see from the AMD's web page, above 4G decoding and resize bar support must be enabled. Uh, smart access memory is AMD's name. Uh, industrial name is resizable bar support. Uh, as you can see, AMD lists the system requirements. Uh, these are the system requir requirements at hardware side and software side, drivers and hardware uh, cards and uh, CPUs. These are the necessities for uh, NVIDIA. NVIDIA card BIOS should support, uh, driver set should support, and your motherboard uh, should support the uh, resizable bar. Uh, this is the list page of uh, NVIDIA for this feature. Uh, I hope you liked the video. Please give your comments below. Uh, please subscribe and enable the ring for the upcoming videos. See you guys. Bye.